put a rank on it is back. We have three couples. The first couple is Joya and Jessha. Then we have Ricky and Catherine. And then we have Chance and Dunbar. Okay, from first glance, these are three beautiful couples. But when you get to, you know, get to know them, you realize why they're not married, which is the concept of this entire show, is to see if at the end of this, they can move on and get married or be a stronger couple. So, um, Chance and Dunbar seem to me like an okay couple, but... You know, you can tell there's some kind of resistance. At first, I thought, you know, Dunbar was a little controlling. But towards the end of this ep episode two, this episode right here, it seems like something is really holding him back. But we're not going to save them for later. And let's talk about Ricky and Catherine. I feel like there's a whole lot. A whole lot going on in this relationship right here. First of all, in this episode, um, Catherine states that they live in a home with multiple people, such as Ricky's entire family, his mother, his father, his sister, his brother, and some kids. That's a lot of people under one roof. And Catherine stated that she would like for them to get their own place and, you know, see if they can grow from that, which I do agree. Like, seriously, if you both are working and you can afford to get your own place, I don't see why not, especially if you're in a relationship and they've been together for a while. You know, it's time to leave the nest and go see what you can make for yourself and i mean when do you get a long time with all those people in their house and with jessa and joya um jessa you know states that she is an overthinker when she was out on her date with the guy she was overthinking and she didn't want to do anything wrong so she said she had a good time, but to me, she didn't really have a good time because at the end, when Dr. Stacy asked her, would she like to see the guy again? And she said no. Matter of fact, all the ladies said no because they dated first. They went out on their dates first with the strangers. They all said no. They don't want to see the person that they saw like, they don't want a second date. So, I, was, I found that really strange. Even when Catherine said that the guy that she went out with was nice, you know. she gave He gave her flowers, which is something that she'd been wanting Ricky to do. And she said that they had a lot in common. And he was a good listener. He's funny. So, I didn't see why she didn't want to go out with him again. But then again... We'll see. So this time around, it was the guy's turn to go out on dates. And Jessha went out with a lovely woman named Celine. And to me, they had a good vibe. You know, they had a lot in common. Um, Celine likes to travel. And it sounds like, you know, Jessha likes to travel too. He was impressed that she could speak, you know, mediocre Spanish and I don't know why that impressed him because her Spanish wasn't that good but I mean whatever rock his boat you know they, they was vibing and you can tell you know he was feeling her but I don't know I think if I go into you know bet on it I think he's gonna go out with her again because he really seemed to vibe good with her so Dunbar went out with a girl he went out with crystal and crystal was saying everything dunbar needed and wanted to hear first of all he was very impressed with what she had on she was covered up conservative which is 
something that he likes and something that Chance is not. You know, Chance chose her little boobies, everything, and she wears whatever she want to wear. You know, Chance is a very independent woman, which is something that he stated that he's not used to. And he likes, you know, a woman to be submissive, which is what Crystal said she is. She's very submissive and she's godly. She will let the man lead and whatever he says she will do, which is exactly what he wanted. I'm guessing it's a, you know, it's a show, it's a game. And they picked out a woman that he wants, a woman that he feels like he needs versus the woman that he got in chance. So, Ricky, however, went out with Sheila. And <laughs> Sheila is, he said, Sheila is his type. If it, he was in a different circumstance, he would be a type of woman that he would approach and talk to. And on their date, you know, he seemed a little hesitant, but he opened up to her a little bit. And he said that, you know, she's easy to talk to. And she's more understanding of his situation. Now, Ricky's situation <laughs> could be understandable to a stranger that don't know him. But to his girlfriend, it's weird. You know, his ex-wife, I believe they have kids together. And he said that, you know, when she goes out to work because she's in the entertainment industry at night, you know he goes over to her house to sleep over because she's out and he stays to watch the kids and babysit well not babysit you can't babysit your own children but like stay with his children until she gets home and he tells her you know i sleep on the couch there's nothing you know funny going on it's strictly i'm mom i mean he's dad and she's mom so i'm very curious to know one what type of work that she does that keep her out in the middle of the night? And he said that, you know, she was entertainment. Like, what kind of entertainment are you doing? But anyways, um, I don't know about all that. One, you got a lot of people living in their house. Two, now you got to stay over at your kid's mom's house to watch the kids. That's a lot. It's a lot going on in that relationship i don't know i I don't know about all that captain gonna have to reevaluate that whole situation because he looks like he is feeling sheila and from the previews it looked like he went out with her again i can guarantee you if not all but at least two of these guys are gonna go out with the same woman again i guarantee you dunbar is gonna go back out with crystal and Jessica's going to go back out with Celine. And most definitely, Ricky will go out with Sheila again. So I don't know why the women are hesitant to go out with the guys that they had fun with, they connected with. Because these guys ain't playing. They got exactly what they wanted. And I don't see them saying no to any of those dates. Because according to what I saw... They all felt like they had a 10. So, I mean, towards the end, when Dr. Tracy came to have a one-on-one with Dunbar and Chance, and Dunbar was saying, you know, he doesn't know how to deal with Chance because she is so independent. And, you know, she goes about her life of not needing him and not needing him to do anything for her and he doesn't know how to handle that which is understandable because you know she grew up with her father and because her mom passed away when she was small so her father you know a man gonna teach her how to be independent and that's all she knows and he needs to understand that he needs to be more understanding of that's her only way of knowing how to live life. You know, if he would put effort 
into understanding that maybe he can teach her, you know, let me do this for you. You don't have to take on everything by yourself. She probably would understand instead of him, you know, just sitting back and be like, well, you're not letting me do nothing. I want to lead. I want to do, like, help her understand because there's some women that don't understand how to let someone do things for them. They're just so used to doing everything by themselves. So towards the end, Dr. Tracy asked Chance to leave so she can speak to Dunbar one-on-one -on -one because she felt like, you know, there was something that he was holding back. And he was like, you know, I never told anybody this in my life. And he starts crying. And this is where the show ends until the next episode. And I'm like, well, what is it? Like, what is bringing you to tears? Like, I hope it's not something crazy. But, I don't know. This guy is, to me, is full of surprises. But if I had to predict... Who is going to say together? I don't know. All three of the dates that the guys went on tonight, on this episode, episode two, is really strong. So we'll see till episode three. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you at the next episode.